picked up the Sigma 24mm 1.4 for my Sony a7 IV and I believe this lens is going to transform my videos. I've already taken some sample shots, tested around with it and it looks so crisp, so good. I've swapped lenses and you can probably tell a little bit of a difference. The background probably isn't as blurry, but I swapped it so I can show you my new lens that I bought in person. Here it is, the 24mm 1.4. I have a couple of lenses on there. They make the shots come out even better, but I'll talk more about those later on in the video. For now, we're gonna chuck this lens back on, head out and explore, get some nice shots, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this cinematic vlog. I really do apologize, my hair looks insane, but the footage coming out of this camera now looks insane. I mean, it already did look really good and cinematic, but thanks to the 1.4 wide open aperture, the background is able to get as blurry as it gets and look even more cinematic. But with that 1.4 aperture, this lens is stuck at 24 millimeters. It is a prime lens, so it cannot zoom in or out manually at least. So what I mean by that, this lens cannot zoom in manually with a zoom ring as it does not have one, but my Sony a7 IV has a crop mode setting, which you can crop in to APS-C mode and not lose any resolution. Still 4K and you can crop in and out. So this right now is 24mm 1.44K, cropped in 35mm 1.44K. Yeah, this lens is basically two in one, a 24 mil and a 35 mil in crop mode. And I think 24 millimeters is just wide enough for vlogging and 35 mil is beautiful for cinematic shots. But I also have filters connected to this lens. So what I'm playing with right now is an ND filter. I had to get a darker ND filter because this lens goes down to 1.4, which lets more light in, which also means this lens is insane at low light and we're going to test that later tonight. I also bought a black Promist filter for this lens and that is what's giving the shots a nice glowing bloomed highlight look. I've never used a black Promist filter before so I'm really excited. So before I head out tonight to test the low light capabilities of this lens I'm going to meet up with Tom and we're going to go for a quick FPV drone flight session and I'm going to record the behind the scenes and make a little cinematic montage of it so let's go meet up with Tom. There he is. He's making his way over. Really incredibly slow at everything I do. Ready to go for a fly? Yeah. Okay. All right, we found sanctuary in the shade. Got this big field, open field to fly the drone. Do some test flying. Tom hasn't flown since he broke oh, wow. his leg. It's been a while, so I'm gonna get the drone up. Got the GoPro on the drone, we'll get some shots. Welcome to HTX. drone is so much fun. Every single time it's just, you can can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> half a meter to your head. Really? <laughs> I, I didn't do any grip, but it's your head. Oh, oh it felt like clip that. <laughs> we did clip it. I found a bird oh, that bird. I'm gonna track. Tracking this bird. Wildlife photography. Oh my god, I actually kind of get close to it. Oh, 
pasto kan tuh. Good first flight. It's always nerve wracking the first it's go. It's so nerve wracking. It's night time now, as you can tell, we're on the bike. We're going out to find some nice spots to test out the new lens in low light conditions. Probably just pull up to a nice looking service station or something and get some nice shots of the bike. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> I've also never moto vlogged at night. So this is also a test for the GoPro in low light conditions. I'm not sure if I have the right settings set up. So it's going to take a bit of trial and error for that as well. But this will have to do for now, whatever it looks like. So I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go find a cool spot. Right, so we've got two service stations coming up. It's going to come down to which one looks better. So we'll pull into this one first. Okay, this looks pretty cool, the red. Oh, this looks pretty nice, actually. The lighting is good. Mmm, let's go check out the other one. Okay, gonna have to say, we're gonna go with the other one. The other one's way better looking. That's like mustard and tomato sauce. We got Kai here, come to help me out. Yeah, we're gonna get the camera out, get some nice cinematic shots, make a montage of the bike, testing out the lens in this low light situation. <laughs> 